what is up everybody how you guys are all doing hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day and today is episode four of the barcelona career mode and today we're going to be going up against granada and the second game will be against villarreal also guys i thought of bringing in a couple of players i'm thinking of bringing in Pedro and Emerson. Now, Pedro, I want to bring him in as a backup and rotational player because I think we need something like that because we are lacking at the right wing position. We are lacking um, players like Pedro. And also, I think Emerson would be a very decent player to sign. Really high potential. And I will be bringing in both of these guys. So, guys. Uh, I went ahead and I offered uh, Chelsea 12 million euros for Pedro. They accepted it. So now I'm going to go and contract negotiate with Pedro. So guys, I went ahead and I signed Pedro for 12 million euros. And he's going to be getting 100k a week. Also now, I'm going to go ahead and try to sign Emerson. Alright guys, I went ahead and I signed Emerson. I wasn't so sure how much he would be taking per week, so I gave him 80,000 um, 80, per week. Also guys, I'm going to be releasing... Uh, let me just look for him. I'm going to be releasing uh, more because nobody is interested in signing him, so I'm going to be releasing him out uh, to make more space for the incoming signings in January. Also guys, I am going to be doing the same thing with Akimi because no, no matter how much uh, offers are coming in, he is just not willing to leave. So also I will be letting him go. All right guys, this is going to be my starting team for the game against Granada. I'm going to go bring in Sergio Roberto as well. Alrighty, so let's get into the game against Granada. Hopefully, we can get the win. Here we are, guys. It's going to be Granada versus Barcelona. We are playing away from home here, and I didn't we w I didn't go for a particularly very strong lineup. I went ahead and brought in some of the youngsters and see how they're going to get along in this team. Let's see what they're going to try to do here. He nicks it in to Stegen punching it out. It was good passing play from Granada, but it was offside. It's a good pass into Messi. Can he continue with the ball, but it's going to be a foul. And I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a yellow. No, the ref is going to have a word. I don't, I don't know. I think that's supposed to get a yellow there. Junior Firpo into Arthur. Going to go for the shot. Suarez goes for the shot. Another shot, but they defended the ball pretty well. Couldn't get the ball past them. Trying to pass it on. He does successfully pass it on to Sergio Roberto. Who was able to keep it in. Suarez, nice back heel. Sergio Roberto, though, couldn't get the cross in. But that is going to be the end of the first half. A very mm, balanced tier game between Granada and Barcelona. It is nil-nil, but hopefully we can go ahead and come into the second half and get the win. I went ahead and I brought on Alturo Vidal for Ivan Rakitic as Rakitic not having the best of games. Arturo Vidal passes it in to Hiroke Abe. Barcelona now passing the ball around. Trying to make something happen here. Abe passes it in. It's offside. Messi shoots. Messi scores, but it is going to be offside. Here they come on the attack. He brings it in. Oh, to Stegen. No. Granada. Score. And it's 1-0. Man, we have been very, very sloppy this game. We have not been playing well at all. Man, I'm very disappointed. Barcelona playing some good football here. Arthur, Griezmann, Lautaro, 
And now Toro scores. Barcelona are leveled here. It's 1-1. Barcelona get one back minutes later. And to Alturo Vidal. He brings it in. Griezmann tried to go for the header, but the goalkeeper with great reflexes there. That is going to be the end of this match, unfortunately. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I thought maybe the referee would give us a couple more minutes, but unfortunately, this game is going to be ending in a draw 1-1 between Granada and Barcelona. This is really bad news for us because now Real Madrid might have won their game. At halftime, did you expect to get a draw? I expected a win, actually. Uh, I expected a win. Yeah, it is going to get get the morale down, but still, we should have won that game. A victory was expected for you today. Can you comment? It's something to learn from. Is your inability to stop Falquer the reason behind your failure? He's a really good player. This is going to be my team against Villarreal, guys. You guys could guess, I guess you guys could say it's the usual 4-3-3 that we play. I'm gonna be going with Griezmann up front instead of Suarez because Suarez lately has not been performing. Will we see more of Lautaro Martinez? Uh, nothing personal. Does your team have the quality to get back on track? Of course we do. Do you hope to keep the unbeaten streak going? What unbeaten streak? Bro. FIFA, like, what is this? What a broken streak. We are not even on a streak. We've drawn two of our games. Here we are, guys, at the Camp Nou. Barcelona versus Real Vill Villarreal. And today, we need a 100% win here. And I went with a very strong team, so we can do that. My god, what a header and what a save. Frankie de Jong is injured, guys. Hopefully it is not that serious, guys. But I'm going to be bringing on Arturo Vidal. But that is very unfortunate as Frankie de Jong literally... Oh my god, bro. Look at that. Oh my god, bro. Man, Frankie de Jong, he's like, he controlled everything in midfield for us. Griezmann into Dembele, who curls it, but it's another save. The keeper is just not letting us score. Vidal. Arthur into Messi, who shoots! Oh, and skins the post. Paco Alcacet passes it in to Mo Gomez. Here's a chance for Villarreal. He shoots. It's a brilliant save from Tostegan. But he, uh, he got another chance and he scored. The rebound and it is in. Villarreal scored. And it's just, this is so disappointing, guys. This episode, we have not been playing well. And we've had so many chances to score, but we've not made it. We've not made it count, and Villarreal had one chance, and they score from it. There it is, guys. The first half ends. It's 1-0 to Villarreal, and we are not playing well at all. But in the second half, we're going to try to get the win. So, guys, I went ahead, and I brought on Lautaro Martinez for Antoine Griezmann to see if we can score a goal because every time I brought on Lautaro Martinez he scored for us Loftus Cheek brings it into Alcacer passes it back Santi Cazola and it's another chance for Villarreal but it was another brilliant save from Tostegan
What the heck just happened? What? Oh my god. What the hell, bro? Honestly. And Loftus Cheek makes it 2 0 Villarreal. Baltoro Martinez, here he comes. Passes it on to Dembele. Brings it in. Trincao shoots and Trincao scores. We've gotten one back, but it's too late. Well, there it is. Oh, man. An absolute. This is BS. Like, honestly, the go the goals that Villarreal scored, the first goal was actually a really good goal, but the second goal was BS. And the amount of chances we've had. We had 12 shots compared to their 9, and they had more possession. They just demolished us at the Camp Nou, guys. I don't know what to do, as we're probably going to... We probably now are all the way down in 6th place. Real Madrid winning 4-0 there. No surprise there as Real Madrid's win. Meanwhile, we lose our game. How satisfied are you with Lautaro? He deserves all praise. I don't even know why I'm saying that. Man, De Jong's injury. How will Frankie De Jong's injury impact the squad? It won't be easy. What are your thoughts? We should have kept it going. Well guys, we have been terrible in this episode. We have not been playing well. <clears throat> and Frankie De Jong is going to be out for eight weeks. So he's going to be out for two months. Ah. Uh. Influential performance. Even though PK wasn't really that good, none of the no one on the team was good enough. Oh my God! Very disappointing, guys. As we end off the episode with a draw and a loss, how are we gonna get back on top here? As Real Madrid have 18 points and Atletico have 18 points, we have 11 points. We are literally struggling. We're struggling. Like we're seven points off, and we're in eighth place. We're gonna have to find a way to get our shit together honestly we need to we need to do something and also Frankie De Jong's injury is going to impact the squad next episode though we will be facing Hatafe and Inter Milan that Inter Milan is going to be an interesting game there and as we have been absolutely terrible and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I'll see you guys next time